be a business, right? How many of these can you make a day? Mm, about 20. And how much profit do you make per penny blossom? I don't know, like 50 cents? I'm not sure. No, of course you're not. All right. $10 a day times five days a week times 52 weeks a year is $2,600. That's all? Before taxes. Well, I don't have to pay taxes on this stuff. I believe the Internal Revenue Service would strongly disagree. <laughs> but if you took advantage of modern marketing techniques and you optimized your manufacturing process, you might be able to make this a viable business. And you know about that stuff? Penny. <laughs> I'm a physicist. I have a working knowledge of the entire universe and everything it contains. Who's Radiohead? Oh. I have a working knowledge of the important things in the universe. Good luck. Sheldon, hold on. Could you maybe show me how to make more money with this? Of course I could. So wait! Will you? <laughs> Just to be clear here, you're asking for my assistance. Yes. And you understand that that will involve me telling you what to do? I understand. And you're not allowed to be sarcastic or snide to me while I'm doing so. Okay. Good. Let's begin with the premise that everything you've done up to this point is wrong. Oh, imagine that. Sarcasm, goodbye. No, sorry. Wait, please come back. Come back. Uh, there, done. All right, 12 minutes and 17 seconds. Oh. Pretty good, right? That's 4.9 penny blossoms per hour. Based on your cost of materials and your wholesale selling price, you'll effectively be paying yourself $5.19 a day. A day? There are children in a sneaker factory in Indonesia who out-earn you. That just can't be right. Are you questioning my math? No, sorry. Do you want me to show my work? Oh, God, no, no. Just please tell me what to do about it. All right. Are you familiar with the development that resulted from Honoré Blanc's 1778 use of interchangeable parts? <laughs> the assembly line, of course. Okay, you know what? If I'm not allowed to be snide, you're not allowed to be condescending. That wasn't a part of our original agreement, and I do not agree to it now. <laughs> Fine. How are we supposed to set up machines and conveyor belts in my apartment? You're thinking of the moving assembly line. An understandable but not excusable mistake. No, the, <laughs> the moving assembly line. That was introduced by Henry Ford in 1908. That innovation is what made possible our modern consumer culture by enabling a low unit cost for manufactured goods. I guess that isn't one of the topics discussed on your radio head. <laughs> Give me some time to blow. I'm a deep water sailor, just come from Hong Kong. Anyway, hey, blow the man down. If you give me some whiskey, I'll sing you a song. Give me some time to blow the man down. Hello? Hello? The break of the poop. Jimmy Way, hey, blow the man down. Or I'll help you along with the toe of my boot. Give me some time to blow the man down. What's going on? I assume you're referring to the sea shanty. That's a rhythmic work song designed to increase productivity. Yeah, it's crazy, but it totally works. Look, we made this penny blossom in under three minutes. Terrific, but that kind of raises more questions than it answers. <laughs> Penny's making hair accessories. I'm helping her optimize her manufacturing process. All right, break's over. Pay attention to orders. Now you want to know. 